Hey guys, my name is Coit Beringer, and I am entering the Design for X Build competition this fall semester with my flip clock. Now, this is a pretty basic clock, and it's kind of clocks are normally kind of boring, but there's a few special features about this clock that I think are pretty cool. So, my original inspiration for the design of this clock is these seven segment flip digits. And I found these on eBay, and they're kind of cool. Normal seven segment displays just use LEDs. These digits actually have an array of electromagnets on the back that flip little pieces of plastic from white to black and then back to display a different number. And I thought that was pretty cool. They're kind of retro, and I wanted to build a clock with them to challenge myself and use the tools in this lab, uh, among other things. So, I built a clock. This clock uses four of these digits, obviously, and these digits are a little hard to work with. To control all seven electromagnets, you have to have a, a kind of a complicated control circuit, and I designed that whole system discreetly myself. Uh, so if you actually look at the back of this clock, we have a microcontroller that controls everything, obviously. We have a real-time clock chip, which keeps time. We have an I.O. expander chip, which allows me to use more I.O. pins on the microcontroller because we're driving so many of the actual electromagnets. We have a boost converter here, which steps up 12 volts to 20 volts because these need 20 volts to operate. And then you can see all of the little tiny transistors I used to build all of the H bridges needed to actually control these electromagnets. So that's kind of the overview of how this works. In terms of construction, it's, I think this clock is a great example of what you can build with tools in a basic lab and finish with a final project and product that could almost be manufacturable and sellable. So if you can see how I made this clock, I started by designing a printed circuit board in Eagle PCB software. And I did all of the design work myself, and then I had this board ordered in China uh, from a company called PCBWay. It's one of the fastest and cheapest and easiest ways to get circuit boards nowadays, is just to order them online. So this circuit board came in the mail, and then I also ordered a solder paste stencil with it. Now this stencil lets me put solder paste on all of the pads on the top of this board, and then once I do that, I can use tweezers to place each component on the circuit board. And then using the tools in the design for XLab, specifically the reflow oven, I can put this in the oven, bake it, and all of the solder will solder all of the parts on the board. And you end up with a very professional circuit board with all the components perfectly soldered, as you see on the back of this circuit. I also designed this acrylic case in AutoCAD and used the laser cutter to um, cut all the pieces out and put it together. And using the laser cutter to make acrylic cases for my projects is really one of my favorite things to do. It really makes anything you build look way more professional and really cool because you can build a see-through case or whatever. looks cool. So that's about it. I'm going to show you guys the operation of this clock. So I'm just going to plug in 12-volt battery pack here, and we're going to see it boot up. And there you go. As you can see, it is almost 2 o'clock, so the clock is correct. And as you can see, it kind of has some LEDs in the back for backlighting. At night, uh, I have a night mode where this clock will turn off those LEDs and not disturb me you know, when I'm sleeping. And it's pretty cool. Just sits on my desk. Nice little project to take to interviews or whatnot to show people uh, you know, kind of a, from very first design inception, from seeing a cool thing you want to build something, and going all the way to a final product, I guess you could say. Thank you. All right, we're going to try to set the time on the flip digit clock. Just so you can see the workings, you need a small screwdriver. I'm going to turn on the system. It's going to boot up. And if we want to increment, I believe this will increment minutes, but it might be the hours. Yep, that's the minutes. Button's kind of sensitive, may need to add a little more debounce there in the code. 
as you can see, so each time you set this, it will update and set the real-time clock chip. Each time you change the hours, it will do this nice little graphic I programmed in. 